if what happens when you visit the URL or your localhost URL in the browser what's happening inside of Rails and what's happening inside so that is called as Rails communication process when user request to the browser and the browser sends the request to the Rails router and check in the Rails router and then it will goes to the controller and the controller goes to the views and the views will return the visual page and to the controller and the controller renders the view and send it to the browser and user can use it whatever he wants so the first thing the first process when a user the first step of this communication process is user is requesting a URL to the browser when the request hits the rails router inside it is inside the config slash routes.org the router recognize the URL and sends the request to the controller the controller receives the request and process it and then it will view and then it will sense the view page and the view renders the page as HTML and then the controller sends the HTML back to the browser and the browser will make the visual representation of a web page to the user this is the request response cycle and also called as communication process of Ruby on Rails it is useful a way to how to see Ruby on Rails apps and folders working together in a static application in a static application we just need a controller and view we don't need the model which is the design pattern of MVC we just need the controllers and view because it is a static application we are not creating a dynamic stuffs until now so basically this is the uh, the architecture and the communication process of a static